Hey you guys, it's Sam, and look, I'm finally finishing this picture. <laughs> if you guys were in my streams um, quite a while ago, like a month or so ago, I can't remember now, but um, I drew this check, and now I'm finally getting around to finishing it off. And it was a suggestion from one of you guys, I'm sorry, I can't remember who, um, I wanted to draw a jellyfish mermaid sort of check, and one of you suggested the Manowar jellyfish which I do not recommend Googling unless you want to have nightmares for the rest of your life about this thing finding you in your sleep and killing you. And <laughs> it's very terrifying. <laughs> I actually was, <laughs> I started to line this digitally on a stream, but then I ended up not like removing all of that line art, printing out the sketch and then tracing it on a separate piece of paper and then like lining it on that. And um, I don't have a light box, so I ended up using one of um, Alex's old tablets as a, you know, a fake little cheap light box sort of thing. And um, then I rescanned it and now I'm coloring that. And I just, I don't know why lining digitally just is so difficult for me, but it, it is. Yeah, so, much easier to do it traditionally. So if you, you're like me and you hate lining digitally, then you can print it out. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, her tentacles were such a pain to draw. And I had so many different routes of like trying to do it. And what I ended up doing was having a, like a gray brush and then drawing in, just like making it really big and then drawing where I wanted the tentacles to go and then just adding a stroke outline and with the black. And then that was how I did the, that's how I was gonna do the line art uh, digitally, but then whatever, <laughs> I did it traditionally. Um, but as far as the coloring goes, I try to keep it somewhat similar to the, the real animal. And yeah, it's just lots of blue and some purple. I probably could have put in some more purple, but there's so many conflicting references for this, scary monstrosity of a creature that is just gonna find me one day and it's gonna be like I heard you you talking about about me like <laughs> it's revenge time or something this thing is like super poisonous and you like don't even see it coming it's like the ear kanji but bigger much bigger and blue <laughs> don't look up the ear kanji either Anyway, yeah, I probably could have added more purple now that I'm I'm watching it just because there really isn't that much purple and just the little bit like at the center kind of just stands out a bit too much for me, but whatever. And then there wasn't enough tentacles and I did this um, in the stream as well where I just put a new layer behind her and I just did like a solid color, kind of like, ooh, it's in the distance so you can't really see the details sort of thing. And yeah, so Quite a few of you guys have been asking why I keep drawing mermaids. <laughs> and um, no, it's not related to mermaid. And yeah, it's actually a project I'm working on, which is a coloring book. <laughs> yes, I am working on a coloring book. It is mermaid themed, which is why I've been drawing so many mermaids. <laughs> um, if you saw my three marker challenge that I uploaded recently, recently um, then you would have seen one of the ones that are going to be, that is, that is going to be, I hate English, <laughs> that's going to be in the coloring book. And this one will be as well. And they're gonna, there's going to be like a whole bunch of other ones. So it's just going to be two pictures. It's boring. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I have a whole bunch of plans for that. And it's not, it's not out yet, so don't go looking for it. As of recording this, I have over half of them all drawn out. And yeah, this is, there's going to be uh, things to color. And I'm going to try and toss in some extra bonus content. And just, yeah, I, the, the details I'll get into later. But for now, I just figured I'd go ahead and be like, oh, hey, this thing is going to be coming eventually. <laughs> My ideal is the end of June, but like, don't, don't quote me on that. I don't want you guys coming up to me at the end of June and be like, Sam, where's the coloring book? And then I'm going to be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't finish in time. But that's, that's what I'm aiming for is, um, the end of June. But obviously I'll put out 
another video talking about it once it's like really ready to go and everything, but figured I'd go ahead and just let you guys know that that's something that I'm working on right now and that you can look forward to that later on. But yeah, anyway, I'll talk about more of that more later on. But um, back to this picture, at this point, I'm just adding a crap ton of textures that I found from Pixabay. And just to, I don't know, I wanted to keep the coloring rather simple and I didn't really want like a cell shaded, soft shaded sort of thing. So I kind of just did both. And I just, I don't know, I like the, the look of textures sometimes on artworks. So that's what I did with this one. And um, I think I think it came out kind of nice. I, yeah, I think I'm kind of happy with it. I think it's, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye.